Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today on ClueCon Weekly. Today, we have Alan Percy and Sadar Savici of Telco Bridges here with us, and they are going to give us a demo of Pro SBC. And I know, Alan, you wanted to say a few words as well, so go sure. right ahead. Well, thank you, Madison, for having both Sadar and myself uh, today. Uh, one, we're, we're really excited. You know, we, we attended ClueCon uh, a few weeks ago and had a great time. It was our first ClueCon. Uh, and if there was any regrets, I, that I missed the first 14. So, so there you go. <laughs> so it was a great event, and thanks for putting on a, an awesome event. We, um, while we were at the event, you know, we had a lot of folks uh, come to our table and learn a little bit about our free SBC and pro SBC platform. And you should know that that um, that free switch is one of the one of the top um, reasons why people download either free SBC or Pro SBC. We see um, you know, we ask people during the download process what they plan on using it with, and uh, free switch is one of the top responses. So um, obviously a lot of interest in that in the community, uh, and it's a really good fit from a, not only a technical standpoint from a business standpoint, but the one question people asked us at the conference was. Uh, can you give us a quick demo? And of course, we just weren't prepared at that moment at the show to do a quick demo. Uh, you know, it's what happens you stick a marketing guy and a sales guy uh, at a trade show is, uh, <laughs> you know, our technical level of expertise is eh, almost there. So <laughs> anyway, so we decided to do is invite Sadar, who's one of our wizards um, behind the scenes. He's part of our uh, customer support team. Um, he's based in Turkey, and that's why it's quite dark where he is in his office. <laughs> Uh, and he's been a great uh, asset to the team. He joined the company too about 18 months ago, uh, just about the same time I did. I joined the company. And so with that, Sardar is going to give a demo, uh, a walkthrough demo of what the activation installation process is like for Pro SBC, starting right from the very beginning. So Sardar, why don't you take it from here and just maybe quick explain what people are going to see and then dive right in. Okay. So here in our in our uh Sample, I'm going to use one of our SPC installed on AWS. And I will also have two free switch installed in the same AWS instance. So let's start with the login screen from here. You need to, first of all, you need to know we are using one, two, three, five, eight port to log in our web queue. When you log into our web queue, you will see this screen. So I'm going to uh, show you how easy to configure SIP trunk with free SPC and free switch. So first step you need to do is to configure the IP interfaces in the free SPC. But you need to know on the AWS, all IP interfaces are coming pre-configured because of the AWS topology. Okay, so if you want to configure standalone server in your uh, network, or if you want to deploy free SPC, pro SPC with the VMware or any other virtual machine, first of all, you need to configure your IP interface here. Okay. So it's very easy to configure. You just need to click, click to create a new interface, give a name, select the services, okay? And you need to give the IP addresses. The second step is to create a SIP stack. Okay. I'll just give, name, give a name. So here you can see we have other uh, advanced options and some header parameters to add, or you can play with the session timers. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it them default values and click to create. So our zip stack is configured now. So we need to create transport servers. So these transport servers are actually our entry points for the SPC. Okay, so let's give a name. Web zero transport server. Here you need to specify which port type you are going to use. You can select UDP, 
ACP or TLS, which port you are going to receive the SIP messages, and which IP interface you want to use this port, port type, and port. So here in our sample, we only have one IP interface. So I'm selecting web server and create. So if you have multiple networks, for example, if you want to separate internal network and external network, then you need to uh, add transport server for each network. So after configuring the transport server, we need to the third step is the adding maps. Map means is network access point. It is an entry point, entry and exit point for SIP traffic. Okay. So in our uh, sample, I will create I will create two maps, one for two networks, one for uh, field switch, and one for the operator. So let's say create new map. Give a name. Okay, spell it right. Sorry. Sorry. There you go. Switch. Switch. Oops. Okay, very good. So here you need to select which transport server will be used for this network. Okay. Here I select Web0. And you need to specify which RTP port, which port range will be used for the RTP. Okay. Now, here we need to give the proxy address of, the, of this network. You can use any IP address or you can use an FQDN of your free switch. If you want to use FQDN in the NAP settings, you need to configure local you need to configure the dns too so in my sample i am going to use static ip address one of the static ip address of my research okay so i say save and i will create a itsp sip trunk network okay Let's say SIP trunk. Again, I am selecting web 0 ts and uh, specify the RTP port ranges. Here. So I'm going to use a real operator here, OK? So as you see, I use the FQDN here, so I need to configure the DNS, DNS. or yep. this FQDN. Okay. So first of all, you need to create a new DNS group. Let's say this switch DNS. And you need to create a new DNS server. I'm going to use the Google one as for a test. Okay, now. So we create our IP interface, we create our SIP stack, we create our network access point to network entry and to exit point for the SIP tra traffic. Now we need to create a connection between the NAPs. So we need to go to the routes here and create a connection between two NAPs. So let's say to SIP trunk. So this is outgoing call from free switch to SIP trunk. Here you need to specify the selected NAP, which is the incoming NAP for this route. And you need to select the remap it map, which is the outgoing map for this route. Okay. So here, as you can see, we have uh, some call it calling and remap it, call it, remap it calling parameter 
sections here. So here you can use regex to match some numbers or you can directly use a number like a sorry okay this trunk will be used only if the call it number it goes to this phone number okay if you don't enter anything here, everything is going to go to zip trunk if it's coming from free switch. So I say create. So now we need to create a incoming trunk for the free switch. We create outgoing trunk, outgoing crowd. Now we need to create an incoming crowd for the free switch. From Zip trunk. This time I select zip trunk and the map it map will be free switch and create. So actually, the configuration is ready now between uh, zip trunk and your free switch. Okay, so free SPC will be in the middle and we are going to communicate with zip trunk and we are going to communicate with the free switch and we are going to route all the calls from free switch to zip trunk, zip trunk to free switch. But first of all, we need to activate our configuration, okay? So in the system screen, you will see validate configuration and activate configuration sections. In the validate configuration, if you click the validate button, it's going to check your configuration and if it's found any problem related with your configuration, it's going to give you an error message. Okay? So it's good to validate the configuration before activate. So after validate, I'm activating my configuration. Okay, now here you can, from the status screen, you can see the NAP status. As you see, these are green, so it means the NAP's network access points are up and we have a communication between these two entry points. So actually what we do, we are sending options messages and receiving 200 OK for the NAPs. So let's talk a little bit about this screen, OK? So in this screen, you can give you, you can see status of the system and the most useful part for the screen actually the calls. So here you can see all the incoming calls, outgoing call legs, how many calls are answered, how many calls are terminated. I mean, uh, very detailed call, very detailed things related with your call. Here we have backup screen. Okay. You can create a database backup. Actually, I recommend you create each time when you make any configuration change. You can create a backup, database backup here manually, or you can upload also a database backup, backup to the, your SPC. On the system menu, we talk, we already talk, but here I can say you can uh, also activate the packages from this second. The package is actually the, soft, uh, the SPC software running on the system. Okay. So now let me change the configuration and we can make a little demo here. So I had to make a uh, small configuration with two free SPC, two free switch and one SPC here. Okay, so they are now up and running. So if I call number, let me try to show you. 
So you're calling a telephone number that's one of the DIDs on the local SIP trunk. Correct. Yep. Okay. So what? So, as you see, the call immediately came to our call trace secret. Okay, so you will see always two legs for one call, which one is for incoming, the other one is for outgoing. But if you click one of them in the call trace secret, you will see all the call flow related with this with this call. So actually, this is the very powerful powerful tool to solve the problems. You can see here the messages between two endpoints, okay, and uh, some details, for example, related with the uh, SDP or which port you used. So it's a very powerful tool, and it it comes with the Pro Edition, okay. It comes with the Pro Edition, right? So. Uh, let me show you here. I have two naps, free switch two and free switch one. Actually, these are the real running uh, free switches on the AWS at the moment. I have one SIP trunk, and here in the route, I have I need to create uh, two different route for each free switch. Okay. Uh, one more thing I want to talk about to uh, Rotom Secret. For example, in this configuration, I give priority one to each route, and this means the calls are going to calls are going to use the uh, route robin method between two free switches. Okay, so first call will go to the Free switch one, the second call go to free switch two, third call call to one, fourth one to two, and keep going. But you can use, for example, if you give rate 100 here, okay, so this means all calls coming from SIP trunk will go to the free switch one until free switch one is done. So as you can see, I mean, it's very simple to make uh, load balancing between the free switches. And with the routing script, of course, let me show you scripting. Okay, with the routing script, you can add many, many more functionalities to your SPC. I think I am done. Good. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you just showed real quick a peek at yeah. the of the various routing scripts. There's a lot more power uh, way beyond what uh, Sardar showed. Uh, you can route based on dialed number, called number, um, or you know, calling number, NPAs and NXXs, and use regular expressions, et cetera, in a lot of these routes. And then uh, depending on your level of skill, you can get into developing old custom routing scripts that are part of the platform so there's a lot of flexibility above them but we wanted to show yeah. you but yes. the net of it all is we showed you in about 20 minutes how we can go from uh, a <laughs> fresh instance of uh, free SBC on AWS uh, and have it configured and up and running so that's um, that's really what we wanted to show today so that was fantastic so I appreciate you doing all that and putting together the demo hey, thank you yeah, all right. Thank you guys so much for all of this. This is wonderful. And if anybody has any questions on any of this, go ahead and write them in our comments section on our Facebook and YouTube pages. And uh, we will get those over to Alan and Sadar so that they can um, better help you um, with whatever you may need. Yeah. And if someone's interested in downloading a copy of uh, free SPC or pro SPC, they can go to freespc.com uh, slash pricing, and that's we have a whole big page that details the functional differences between them, and they can just click to download the software and start with a 90-day evaluation license on Pro SPC, 
or a one-year license on free SBC. So there's lots of uh, lots of tools here, and happy to help people out. And look forward to hearing from them. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you guys again, and uh, we'll see you next time. You bet. Thanks thank for you. having us. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching ClueCon Weekly. Don't forget to give this video a like and a subscribe. And while you're at it, make sure to go and follow all of our other social media channels. We'll see you right here next week. Same time, same place. And catch you at ClueCon.